can I just get a caramelized coffee, please? We're moving, that's why the crust is baking. It is not a moving day without Duncan. Plus, for this drive, I believe this day is here. My car looks insane. It is officially moving day. If you guys missed my last vlog, I am moving to South Florida all on my own. Definitely go check out that vlog. It was very emotional, lots of tears, and I expect nothing less for this video, but I'm excited. I'm already down here. Actually, I'm literally three minutes away from my new apartment. Just stopped to get gas because it took up my entire tank. It was for four hours and 45 minutes, I think. Piper, stop. She's going insane. She's been so good this entire drive, but there's a person literally standing right in front of us, so she's about to lose it. I left Jacksonville at exactly 6 a.m. this morning. I wanted to make really good timing. I hit no traffic. It's 11 o'clock. Even though it was so early, my friends still saw me off, and it was super emotional. I spent the entire first hour sobbing. Like, I let myself feel and then I recovered with some Duncan. Listened to Call Her Daddy the entire drive and then the past like 30 minutes I've been talking to family members. I've been listening to Madison Beer's new song. Noah Khan came out with some two new songs. So it has been a very eventful drive. But we are literally about to pick up my keys from my new place that I've never seen yet. There's something eventful or like riveting but also intimidating of doing this entire move on my own. But big girl things. My life literally in one box. I hired movers for the first time ever. There's just no way I would be able to do this on my own. They're gonna be here any second, so I'm gonna have them help me unload the car and of course the pod. While girly pop stays in the car because I don't want her to get crushed and don't worry, the air is definitely still on, the car is on. There's a lot going on, but quick little empty tour. The landlord is finishing some things, so there's a lot going on. He's playing a loud, loud music. There's a little step, built-in little shelf system. We have the bathroom, which I kind of am obsessed with. Like, look at these. There's a rain shower, there's jets. Like, what? I'm obsessed with this bathroom. I love the built-in shelving in-unit laundry, which was not the case in many places here. Again, obsessed with the shelving. And then this bedroom, they're currently getting that out. to be here. If you guys knew what it took to get into this apartment, it's been a whirlwind. I actually was not supposed to move into this apartment. I woke up a few days ago about to leave Jacksonville and come down here and they said, hey, sorry, you can't live here anymore. I was like, huh? Huh? We were literally organizing like times to meet to get my keys and you just dropped me. So it's been a stressful week to say the least. It took me a second to process that it was just not meant to be and I was not supposed to live there and I found this amazing place. Sorry yesterday I wanted to do a really good moving vlog. Like a moving, I love a good moving vlog. So many of you guys actually found me from my moving vlogs moving to Jacksonville but I had to think of myself first mentally and I had to put myself first for a second. It was just a very emotional day for me it always is like the beginning of a move especially coming to a new city that i know no one okay no no i know a good like four people and i'm so grateful that i just know four people but i talked about it i went way more into depth in my last video but when i moved up to jacksonville i had so many friends there it was such an easy and smooth transition i was so busy that it kind of distracted me from leaving my hometown for the first time but coming to this city and barely knowing a soul 
I barely know what's around me. It was just emotional. It always gets me when I'm unpacking and I'm like, well, damn, like I actually can't text my friends right now, wanna go get coffee, wanna go on a beach walk. Like that's when I was unpacking yesterday. I was like, this is real. That era of my life and living close to that certain group of people is over. I just had to swallow that pill and it happened when I moved to Jacksonville. It's just a pill that I, I don't know, maybe not everyone's like that, but that's just me. Like when I left my hometown, I was sobbing, putting away my clothes, my gym clothes. I'm like, I'm never going back to that gym again. Like, it's just how I process my emotions, I guess. And it is the weirdest thing ever because if you know me personally, I am not an emotional person. I truly never cry. Like it's the weirdest thing, but it's always the moving process, you know? And I let myself feel it. I am feeling, if you can already tell, I'm feeling 10 times better. I think it's because last night I actually did go out with a friend and like I, I like felt comfortable. We explored like downtown. We woke up this morning, we got coffee. Like I explored my neighborhood. We went on like a two hour walk, Piper loves it. She's gonna be a city girl. I need to get her a little bit better at walking on the leash and then we'll be there. But the mood has changed and I'm ready to pick you guys up again. Yesterday I let myself feel, breathe, process, and we're back, baby. I pretty much unpacked literally everything. I don't have a couch. I actually left that in Jacksonville, so the living room's pretty empty. I'm not even gonna show that. Hopefully I'm gonna be like refreshing Facebook Marketplace, something cheap because it's not the biggest living room. I need just a small couch. And then my closet, guys, it's gonna be a whole nother level. Let me show you this is my room currently I put it this way and I love like I when I originally came in I had the bed against this wall and I almost lost it I was like I cannot move in here because the bed was just right there when I walked in so I flipped it all around on my own credit to me and might have hurt my back but it really opened the space up a lot but now we're dealing with this mess can you spot Piper hey girl hey <laughs> Oh my god, your hair looks insane. So there's a lot of pros to this apartment. Actually, I keep saying apartment. It's actually a house. I live in a house. That's crazy. It's like a guest house attached to like a main house. But there's so many pros. I'm not going to complain. I'm obsessed with the kitchen. obsessed with the bathroom. It's all so nice. I know I still have to like show you guys everything because yesterday was so rushed. But few cons. I don't have a closet, guys. I am a female. I've got a lot of shoes. I've got a lot of clothes and I have no closet. I have no closet. I can't even, I haven't let myself like think. I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna unpack, see what I can do, make it work, and pray for the best. Because I signed a nine, 10 month lease. It's not that long, but I wanna make it work. I love this area. I, I just have to make it work, actually. <laughs> Another con, I do not have a bathtub. Which, if you know me personally again, baths are my Thing. Like, let me show you. I unpacked my bathroom and I forgot I have this whole bin of bath things that I cannot use because it's non existent. So I think I'm gonna give this to, I don't know, one of my friends. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But I'm not, I don't wanna complain at the same time because this shower is incredible. I think I actually did show you guys yesterday, but I figured it out. Like, I took a shower with these jets. The pressure it has shooting at me, I feel like I'm at a spa. And then the rain head, that is just, there's a shower on both sides. Like, what is this? This is definitely a level up from my last apartment bathroom. I hated my bathroom in Jacksonville and this is just insane, I'm obsessed. Anyways, we are going to tackle on this load of a mess. I ordered some bins, they should be in tomorrow to actually put my shoes and slide them under the bed. But until then, we're gonna be figuring out this mess. We have this wardrobe here. I love that it is a mirror, so I don't have to have my mirror out here. But we're gonna load, there's like a rod up there. We're gonna try to figure out this whole mess into there. And we just placed a big, my first grocery order. I'm picking it up because I don't wanna actually go shopping. Okay, I'm trying to breathe through this and not have another replay of yesterday, but this is a lot. This is already full. Well, this bottom drawer is still empty. Then I have my leggings, like biker shorts there, all my workout tops and sports bras. I tried to squeeze it just into one drawer. That's kind of a squeeze for me already. 
and then socks, bras, underwear on the top. So everything else genuinely has to fit in here. We have a little shelf up there. And we have these two racks here with some empty space at the bottom. I have a lot of boxes like this. So I'm gonna try to like organize. This is my freaking huge thing. These are all my purses. And literally all my, this is not it. My clothes are in the car. My clothes and shoes are in the car and that whole thing is filled with shoes. But also by the front door, I have this. So I have this that they left me that I planned. I don't know, maybe jackets or something right now. I just shoved, oh, let's not open that. This is a bunch of pillows when I do get my couch, but I do have this little wardrobe here as well. I have a drawer here. We just have Piper's leash for now. This drawer is still empty. And then I put all my games at the bottom. So basically this whole thing is still available for storage. I even did this, or I just organized this. I put all my books there where there's still plenty of room for more things. And then over here, I'm gonna leave room for some decor there, but here I have all my candles and then electronic stuff, film cameras, things like that. Okay, it is a different day and today we are running some errands. It's so much fun to like run errands and just explore a new environment, honestly. I'm just driving around and like, I need to be careful, but my I can't stop looking around. There's so much to do and so much to see. And arguably, I think running errands, like I love errand running days. Like a good Target, Trader Joe's, I'm gonna go to Home Goods. I'm gonna go look for a gym today. I'm still doing class pass. I went to yoga this morning for the first time obsessed i can walk to yoga guys like i am in my city girl era i have been walking non-stop the last three days this is my first time in my car i think yeah i've only been in my car once while living here and i've been here for like four days now i've been walking to coffee shops every morning i'm just actually so obsessed and so happy and so content right now i just called my grandma and it was just like a flip of emotions like last time she talked to me i was so sad and i was like crying and i am just literally so happy with where i live now everything that i've seen it's just like helping me out like i love oh i see Publix right there Publix liquors next door okay and this is like it's just all so close to me i'm so used to my little small town so coming to a big city i was very nervous but i am living for it we're about to go into target get a few essentials honestly i need a razor really bad <laughs> tmi i need to shave my armpits i need body wash i need some storage containers to like slide under my bed i'm still working on the closet from the last time you guys saw it, not much progress has happened and then we're gonna go to home goods right over there I may be in South Florida, maybe 85 degrees, but the slippers are still there and I'm so excited to explore a new Target. New city, new razors. I've needed these for a few days. Also, we definitely need body wash. My Target has an Ulta, thank God. Why the heck not? Wait, I've literally never seen this before. Target literally opens up to the mall here. This is so cool. I was gonna say, it's so fun to vlog here because I literally know barely anyone in this city, but the only two people I know in this city just scared the shit out of me in Target. I was on the phone and they came running up on me. So of course, the one time, but I'm still like, I feel so open with vlogging here. Like I literally don't care because I know four people here and two of them are in Target right now. I'm so excited, it's Trader Joe's time. I got all the basics at Walmart the other day, but you know, now I need my Trader Joe's things. Okay, back home now, and literally the first thing I did was shave my armpits. It was so bad, guys. And yes, hair is normal, women have hair too, but me personally, I don't, I get itchy, I don't like it, it's not me. And I did yoga this morning, and they were like, warrior two, warrior one, and I was like, huh. Thank God it was a dark room, like hopefully no one saw that. But we are better, we are fixed, we resolved it. So that's why if you see the wetness on my shirt, that is because I just did it in the sink. But it is time for the first Trader Joe's haul in the new apartment. An iconic moment, the first of many. I didn't get too much because like I said the other day, I went to Walmart, I got the basics, I got the necessities, I got almond milk, eggs, like all the frozen fruit, things like that. I got a bunch of meat at Walmart, I should have got it. I got some at Trader Joe's, but I don't know. I just got some basics, onions, peppers, sweet potatoes, things like that. Living with my cousin this past week, I fell in love with the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. They, everyone has talked about them for years and I've just been slacking. I don't like dark chocolate, hate dark chocolate. This might be a turning point for me guys. And I'm thinking about putting these in my freezer because I feel like they would be epic. I have the biggest sweet tooth, but like I don't always want to indulge in that sweet tooth. But this little thing, 
ain't gonna hurt me. Someone's calling me. Scam. Goodbye. Mm hmm. I was waiting to open this bad boy. So good. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I did not order sriracha at Walmart. What's wrong with me? This is like necessity for everyday life. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever the heck it is, sriracha. I got some Mediterranean hummus because I got hella cucumbers at Walmart and I want to dip them into this hummus. Got some turkey burgers for protein. I also got normal burgers, but sometimes you want to switch it up. Trying to get more into protein, 22 grams. I always, vegetable gyoza, they're a staple for me. Cauliflower stir fry, another staple. Falafel. Another staple. Oh my gosh, I've recently been on the biggest like tofu kick. Again, protein. I'm not the biggest like red meat eater. Like I really just, chicken, I'm a chicken girl. I do love a good burger, but as far as like steaks, like things like that, I don't, I don't know. So I try to find other ways of getting protein and they have these now sriracha flavored baked tofu. I just throw them in the air fryer, amazing. On top of the cauliflower rice. Chef's kiss. Also, chicken meatballs, I'm telling you, protein girl. It just looked really easy. They're seasoned, they're cooked basically, they're gluten-free. I just can, again, throw them in the air fryer. Sounds easy enough. Valentine's Day is coming up. I wanted to treat myself, so on February 14th, catch me by myself eating these. Throw those in the freezer. But like I said, not too much, just a few little goodies. Feel like it's pretty stocked. I don't have a pantry, so I have to be careful with how much I get, because literally nothing else can fit in here. Like, this is my pantry, which which sucks, but we're working with what we got. We got the biggest thing of popcorn. I'm so lucky that I was able to fit that in there. That is my favorite snack, and as long as that's in the pantry, that's all that matters. And I pretty much showed you everything I got at Target. I also ran into Ross since we were right at the mall, and I picked up some kitchen towels because I didn't have any. I got these like blue striped ones. I thought they would match this backsplash that I have going on back here. It's a little bit of a different blue, but it, I hope it kind of ties in. Mm, yeah, I mean, I think it, it looks fine. Yeah, I feel like the endorphins are so high. I just had a fun and productive morning. I tried out a new gym that I'm literally obsessed with, definitely getting a membership, so I'll have that, and also class pass for like my group workouts, yoga, Pilates, cycling, and this gym is literally two minutes away from my house. Like I can literally walk, which I love. I wanna be a city girl. And on top of that, I just found a couch. Finally, I've been waiting. I've been dying to just have like a movie night, a night in, like something, but I don't have a couch. I left it, I sold it in Jackson, so finally I just found one my friends are gonna help me bring it over here today Nothing crazy no cloud couch, but it works for me and for the moment. I'm excited It's gonna fit the space very well today literally officially marks one week of living in Fort Lauderdale Which is insane fastest week of my life I feel like I've just been go 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 like trying to fully like dive in and emerge myself in this new city there is so much to do, it's been a blast. So I've kind of been MIA on the vlog. Sorry about that, we'll get better, you know, as I get more accustomed to the city. But I've just been a busy gal. The house is so close to being done, all I need is the couch, check, that is coming today. And then I have to, I'm working on selling a few things on Facebook Marketplace, so I'm not getting many hits, which I'm kind of shocked about. And then I just have to hang everything on the walls, which my friends are also gonna help me with because I am not good at that. But yay, I'm literally so happy. I've been on the hunt for a couch for like the past week, clearly. Haven't found anything. Facebook Marketplace, they sell so fast. So I went to Habitat for, why are so many people calling me? Wait, this is an important one. <laughs> Wait, that was a good call too. Like I'm literally, it's been such a good day. Happy Friday. Happy one week in Fort Lauderdale. I am 10 out of 10. Like the fact that at the beginning of this vlog, I was a different person and now like I am so happy. I fell in love with Fort Lauderdale more than I can ever imagine. Like my neighborhood obsessed. Everything around me obsessed. Just, I just love it. It's so crazy. It is literally so crazy. I would have never thought one week ago I would be like this content with how the move went. Like I thought it was gonna take me weeks, months. I'm okay. And I will be okay. And I wish I could have told little Naya a week back, you will be okay very soon. So get to feel your emotions, feel what's going on, but it's all for a reason. I actually need to lay up this rug because they're about to be here with my couch. I don't know if this really matches as much anymore because it's so gray in here as far as like not as much brown or neutral, but it's gonna do for now. I feel like it'll make it a bit homier. I need to move all this out of the way. Oh shit. Ugh. <laughs> My legs are already sore from this morning's workout. Excuse me, Pipers. Excuse me. I'm so excited. I wanted to have a movie night so bad last night and I didn't. I was just like, 
staring at my TV like this, and it was very uncomfortable. Piper, we're gonna have a couch. You're gonna have a couch. I put this here because I'm gonna. Yeah, I was trying to figure out where I wanted everything on the walls. Ugh. This living room is a bit smaller than I thought. This was the first time I've ever like picked out a place to live without looking at it. And it was a bit scary, but it worked out. Yay, they're here! Yeah, I'm literally so excited. It's so white and perfect. I've been on the hunt for so long. I wanted like one with the chase or like the little L, but this works. I am obsessed. And it was like 30% off, so. My giant bag of pillows was just sitting in my room. I have options. I've got this long blue one, which is giving spring. That could definitely go right there. And it also matches like the kitchen vibe. But then I also have these because the couch is so white, I could add like some kind of dimension. But this has kind of reminded me of like Christmas or winter. And then I have a million white ones to match the white couch. Grandma, if you're watching this, thank you, because my grandma was the one that bought me my couch. I am literally so grateful right now. I never knew how much I would miss my couch until I didn't have it. It's crazy. This literally makes me just want to sit here. Like, first I need a shower, and I want to sit here, watch a movie, pop a bag of popcorn, and just chill on the couch that I've missed and haven't had for a week. I want to have a night in, like face mask, like I'm feeling kind of gross. Of course from the gym, but I'm feeling just like not... Self-care has been on the back burner this past week. That's just how moving goes, but I feel like now that I have a couch, there's a few stains down here, I could definitely get them off, but I'm looking forward to a night by myself, a night in. Also, last night I finally took on the task of like decorating my house. I kind of put it off for a while. I wanted to wait for a time that I was ready. I didn't want to overwhelm myself or stress myself out. So when I moved in, I kind of just threw my decor in one area right there. But last night we took it on and we decorated the house. And I love how it turned out. I love this little built-in bookshelf. I'm currently standing in the bathroom. My bedroom's there, the living room's that way, just so you kind of get an idea of where it's at. Of course, nothing's permanent, but I have these storage, because of course I can't have enough storage with my lack of closets here. So I have some, I think, tech things in there and Piper's clothes are in there. Then I have my self-help like journal area. I want easy access to this because I really want to pick this back up again. I've kind of been slacking, but we're going to get back into that. My little elephant Polaroid camera, my little mushroom. His name is Edward. Yes, I did name an inanimate object. And what's it to you? Don't judge me. Just some more decor. I really wanted to incorporate like my travel into this bookshelf. Like Sophia got me these. These are all the places we've been together. I got this little turtle in Hawaii. So I'm going to print out the picture of us swimming with a turtle this past summer in Greece right there so they can go together. I need to get some fake flowers or something for in there my little pink moment i feel like I, I, I put the pink together then more travel things wonderlust which literally describes me my aunt got me this ornament we went to portugal together plus i just love traveling i wanted to like kind of display it even though it's an ornament oh let's not let's not drop it though oh no then just a few more things i've got all these rocks from israel some sea glass i got in positano i got this shell the other day my first Beach trip in Fort Lauderdale, I kind of want to write on it, like first beach trip and like the day I went. And just some other shells and things that I got while traveling. Traveling is like a huge part of my life, so I wanted to incorporate it here. I want to put my travel journal maybe like right around here just so I can pick it up and read it and remember the memories whenever I want. The bottom shelves, I kind of just ended up throwing a few things. It's definitely, like I said, not permanent, but it looks beautiful and nonetheless. I put a few fake plants in my bathroom, slowly coming along. My bedroom, let's see any updates. We put the rug there. I don't remember if I showed you guys, but I got all these little slidey things for my shoes, which is so helpful, especially like I got one specifically for boots. So they're all in here because I will probably not be touching these for a very long time. Now that I live in South Florida, it's winter really, really doesn't exist down here. And then I decorated my little... What is this, dresser? Yeah, I decorated it. I just did a few little things. I wanna hang that fake plant in that corner, those things up there. Like I said, I still have to do a lot of the hanging on the walls. I also have these, which I had in my hometown house, which is like a beautiful collage of just more travel pictures. Like I said, it's just very aesthetic. I don't know if I wanna put that on this wall or against like that. 
but I want to do that today as well. I got the sticky stuff for it because this is kind of not sticky anymore. But I do want to take that on today. I really want to just like get a lot done today. Like I want it to honestly almost besides the hanging on the walls, I want everything to be finalized. Eee! But seeing this room now makes me so happy it was just empty like 10 minutes ago. And just adding the two details, like it makes it feel that much more done. Piper is already making herself at home. Do you want to keep the red ones or the blue ones? We need a, we really need to decide that. But I also finally decorated the TV stand. I just put some candles on that side. And then I have my little, another little pink girly area. I hung this. I literally just did this with command hooks. I just needed an area to throw her leash. Like I've been walking around with this huge ass taser, especially at night. And then my go-to bags, of course. I'm trying to sell this. I literally just put it on Facebook Marketplace. I feel like it's such a deal. Like it's a jewelry organizer. I don't know why no one's picking it up. Oh, I kind of... Wait, let me take this off. I want to show you how I organized this little. I feel like I don't really remember what I vlogged since it has been over a week long, but this wardrobe was left here because it's kind of like mounted into the wall. So I'm using the space, using all the storage that I can get. So in here I have all my winter jackets that I, again, will not really be using, really won't be touching this for a long, long time. But I have like my rain poncho, I have a mini ironing board all the way back there. I have my beach hats, all my baseball caps, using every inch of space. We have a little mirror here, which is nice. Close that, please. Now here, I literally just did this this morning, which I love. Since I am getting rid of that jewelry organizer, I had to figure out that situation. I have all my sunglasses. I never realized how many I have, so I like that they're all laid out here on display now because I always just like go to one, but now I can see everything that I have. I organize like my not so everyday jewelry. My everyday jewelry is like in my vanity, but this like is just special occasion kind of jewelry, especially like big ones, sparkly bedazzled ones. These are just also a memory from my Taylor Swift concert. I am going again in October, so I will be re-wearing these. These are specifically just like tarnished jewelry. Honestly, I wear all these to the beach because they're just gonna get ruined anyways. But I love how that turned out. I feel like I can definitely fit more in there as I find things. Here is really nothing so far. Oh, I have my gym bag and an iron. <laughs> Really random, but more space definitely available there. And then I have all my board games. Board games, card games, all the types of games. I have my disco ball, my balloon pump, the most random drawer, but it's a very fun drawer. So I feel like I'm using this to its full potential. And then last night I also did decorate this area. I really, today, I also wanna check off like actually printing pictures. I have frames all over the house of they're just empty frames. I never even filled them in Jacksonville. So I want to do that today because it's just, it just can't happen any longer. Currently burning, what are we burning? A flower bomb, it smells amazing. Everything is slowly coming together. I might have taken a thousand years, but we're done. Yes, it kind of only covers like a small portion of the wall, but I plan to put a clothing rack right there. So I feel like it'll look really even once like something's covering this entire spot. Does it look too small? Well, do it, maybe I'll order another one. I mean, it was super cheap off of Amazon and I can get like another set. So it's a bunch of different ones and like do that. I don't know. I was using this by the way. If you ever wanna know, it doesn't like push holes into the wall or anything. It's really easy to take off. Just some mounting putty. I also wanted to show you now that it's dark out, I wanna show you the vibes, look at it. Literally, vibey lights are so important to me. And then out here, look at this. Look at my shelf. I'm literally obsessed. Those are all fake candles. I have a few real ones in there that I just don't have lit, but most of them battery powered. And then here I have all the lights in the house dim. This again, Goodwill, like friend, yeah, this, ignore all that. But look at, we have my mirror, the tree. I'm obsessed, like I'm about to watch a movie. Forgot to end this vlog, of course. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and like settling into my new environment with me. I know we didn't like go out much together, but that'll change very, very soon. So many fun like South Florida vlogs coming your way. I feel settled, I'm falling into a routine slowly. I wanted to get this up like not too crazy, like I want to be more up to date with you guys. So if you guys did stay till the end, I love you so much. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye, guys.